this session will be approximately i am suppose i'm supposing approximately 1 hour duration okay it might extend also if required we will do that so have patience okay and if you have any question please ask in the chat box from time to time okay so about uh, in this workshop we will cover syllabus we will see the overall syllabus of the national theory we will see the previous year question pattern from multiple angles the previous year question pattern we will analyze from multiple perspectives right we will see the sources which you can follow for the organization theory then how to deal with the directive words then how to do the answer writing we will also discuss about the okay we will also discuss about the answer writing right on the theory part and how to do the value addition how to score the maximum marks because that is the ultimate goal that we have for the upsc okay so about me some of you might already be knowing about me and some of you may be completely new so i am graduate in commerce and chartered accountant of 2009 batch and i am the academic director at diademy ias delhi three times i appeared in the upsc interview with the commerce and accountancy optional and uh, i appeared in the five mains i scored very good score also average score also right so i know what kind of mistake i made from time to time okay so i'll be supporting you in filling up the gap i am teaching since last 7 years and uh, the ici the institute of chartered accountant of india they conducted the civil services orientation program so i was a uh, like they invited me and i was a person responsible for designing and uh, helping them conduct the program and i think many of you would have attended that program right fine so starting with the organization theory syllabus this syllabus is given by the upsc only right so overall there are total 11 chapters or you can say 11 topics which are there in the syllabus right now this syllabus i have uh, you know not exactly copy pasted the sequence i have changed actually the words are same but i have changed the sequence of the syllabus okay so that we can group the chapters into the meaningful uh, clusters right so the first cluster is nature and the concept of organization theory this is theory right second is external environment of the organization technological social political economical and legal okay so this is about the environment environment right this is about the basic organization and this is about the environment then third is organizational goals right so these three chapter they set out the foundation of the organization theory right then next major cluster is having one chapter that is the theory part so this is something which is very 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 uh, you know conceptual part i will say because here you have to use the thinkers ideas exactly thinkers have given the detailed ideas and we will see the evolution okay evolution before industrial revolution during industrial revolution and till recent time this is very very interesting con uh, chapter the theory part right then comes the next important cluster that is organizational design 
organizational structures and impact of IT on the organizational design and structure, right? And even types of the organizational structure. This is next cluster. So in this cluster, we have the four chapters, four major topics, right? This is the third cluster, right? So basically, if you see what is organization theory, what organization theory deals about. So organization theory deals about how organizations function, how they are structured, how the authority responsibility relationship, the power, various, uh, you know, aspect of the organization, like is it centralized, decentralized, formal, informal, right? Then traditional or modern. So many aspect of the organization are there, which are uh, studied together. How exactly the organization functions? Through various theories, we are studying the organization, right? That is why the name of the subject is organization theory. The theory about organization, how to make organization is much more effective by stru structuring is better, by designing it better, through various principles, through various theories, and uh, through various concepts, right? The last cluster is nature and the basic of power. So here, the very important aspect that is the power, it comes into picture, and last is culture. So we can classify these two chapters into one cluster. So there are total four clusters of the organization theory. In the first, we talk about the basics, the nature and the concept, impact of environment, the goal, right? In the second cluster, we study about the theory part. In the third cluster, we talk about design, structuring, types of structuring, impact of IT on the design and structure, right? And the fourth cluster is about power and the culture, right? So it's four clusters we can make and we can then study more about the subject. Now, let us see the previous year questions. Previous year questions. So if you see the paper two, in the paper two, how much is the significance of each of the four subjects which are there in the paper two, right? So we have OT, OB, HRM, IR. So if you see latest exam, 2021, 2021 latest exam, here organization theory was worth 70 marks, 2020 it was worth 120 marks, 2019 it was worth 100 marks. So minimum 70 and maximum 120 we can see. And this is out of 400 marks, okay? We are including, we are including the optional questions also. We are also including the choice based questions, right? So 120, it is very, very important, okay? In fact, in the section one, section A, OT is very, very important, right? In section B, they will not ask the OT, right? Now, we will go chapter by chapter and we will analyze the previous year questions. We will see some trends, we will see how the questions are repeating and we will see many other things, right? See, one thing I want to tell you, one thing I want to highlight here, like there are many people who are hesitant about commerce accountancy as an optional. So are you one of them? Can you please say yes, no? Like they have taken the commerce and accountancy optional or maybe they are not taken, they have not taken, but they are planning to take. And there are so many apprehensions. So is it scoring? Should we take it? Have we taken the wrong decision? Because maybe last two years the marks are not very good. Have you this apprehension? How many of you have this apprehension? Please raise your hand or please type in the chat box. Okay. 
Okay, Shruti, I got you. <laughs> so basically, I want to, you know, uh, you know, I want to discuss this aspect in a detailed manner, right? Basically, if you see in the UPSC, and see, this is very important discussion, okay? This is not general discussion. This is very important discussion. Through this discussion, you will come to know why the marks are low, and number two, how to increase the marks in the coming years, right? And you will also feel confident about commerce and contency as an optional, right? So if you see the UPSC optionals, we can divide them into three major categories. One is purely technical subjects. For example, mathematics, physics, and so on, right? Second is the humanities subject. like history, sociology, maybe anthropology, political science, PubEd, so many, right? Long list. And third category of subjects are a mix of both, mix of technical and humanities a combination or the mix, okay? And example include commerce and accountancy, economics, because in these papers, one paper will have the technical part, numerical part, and second paper will have the theoretical part, the humanities part, right? Third is, for example, management, right? Did you get this point, everyone? Now, from UPSC perspective, if we see the type of question and the coverage of the syllabus, in this purely technical subject, the syllabus is very vast. And number two, it do not overlap with the syllabus of GS. Right? This is the problem with the technical subject. But the very good aspect about the technical subject is that there are direct questions. And the content of these questions is very, very well defined. Right? In the technical subject, they are asking what based questions. That means you should know, if you just know and you can write in the exam, you will get the marks. Because there is not much scope of discretion. The formulas, the principles, the theories, they are already laid down. You can't do anything from your side. Your job is to just mug up, remember, reproduce. So in this subject, anyone can score very good marks if you can take care of the vastness of the syllabus. If you understand the concept, if you are very good in the graduation of that particular subject. And if you can reproduce in the exam whole. So this is paper number one of the commerce and accountancy, right? So in the paper number one of the commerce and accountancy, the numerical part is very, very similar. In the numerical part, if you can manage the very, you know, the vastness of the syllabus, if you can practice it again and again, you don't need much of the value addition, right? Concepts you have to understand. So you can score very, very good marks in the numerical part, right? In fact, not only in the numerical part, in the theory part also, the larger syllabus is based upon what? Knowledge-based. 
there is not much scope of innovation there is not much scope of deviation yes you will have to write the comprehensive answer you will have to address each and every component but that is quite possible if you are reading the uh, you know if you are having the systematic material which is well arranged are you with me everyone getting so paper 1 is more or less well defined content is well defined widely available it is just that you need to remember reproduce practice right so it has very good potential of getting the marks now coming to the humanities subjects in the humanities subjects the benefit is that it is common to the very you know many gs topics right you can benefit in the gs but the problem is the problem is the content is very very diverse if they ask the, like even if they ask very simple question but suppose 10000 people are taking this subject all over india so if someone is preparing in a very good manner they can add more and more content value added content there is lot of discretion with the copy checker if they like the content they can give the marks if they don't like the content they they will not give the marks for example if they ask a question on police reforms in public administration so if you are writing very good content but you may or may not get the very excellent marks because maybe someone else has written the answer better than you the competition is more in the humanities subject and the content is very very diverse it is you know seemingly it might look like the syllabus is very small but actually that is visible part invisible part is that it is never completed it is rip, you know you are covering it covering it please mute yourself everyone right so humanities subject seemingly they might look like very short but you know i have so many students from the humanities subjects which are part of our gs programs they are like their preparation is never ending their sources are always changing they are always updating their sources and there is much more competition so in the commerce and accountancy in the commerce and accountancy this part is not that much difficult right even in the paper 2 if we talk about paper 2 the application based questions the difficult questions are not very very high it not it's not having the very very high portion right so in paper 1 you have to focus on the basics and the comprehensive coverage and the practice in the paper 2 there are two type of questions in the paper 2 that is the organization theory ob and all one is basic question second is application based questions in the basic question again you just have to remember and reproduce yes coverage has to be comprehensive i am not saying you don't have to cover the comprehensive content right you have to be comprehensive and it has to be to the point very very clear concept and there are second type of question the application based question in the application based of question you have to show the real innovation there you can show the real knowledge which can help examiner give you high marks i will come to this part again okay so are you getting my communication everyone with me so in paper 2 certain application based questions are there which are seemingly difficult but actually give us a chance to show our innovation to show our capability and should to get the extra marks in those questions we have to be more innovative show the practical world and get more marks right and this mistake people are doing they are not preparing the application based questions they are actually uh, even if they write the answer to the application based questions but the answer is very very kind of uh, outdated very basic very predictable no no nothing uh, like no no new content they are putting in there okay now yes please you are not attending the session live so 
okay you have to send an send as an email to the administration i can't say as of now because it is a decision of the administration okay thank you so now if you see the year wise break up of the marks starting from 2013 till 2021 total 9 years in these 9 years the first chapter is five star chapter third chapter the evolution of theory is again five star organizational structure organizational and the type of structure if you see both if you see both and combine both 280 marks so 180 marks 280 marks 180 marks right so these three areas are very very cons uh, very very good because these three areas test your real knowledge this is conceptual part these four chapters are conceptual so average you will get 20 marks questions every year average okay sometimes you will get zero sometimes you will get 30 marks also right so you can see the break up 40 70 30 20 0 0 three times and then 20 and you don't know in 2022 they can ask even 100 marks questions from here 70 marks questions from here so you have to prepare every chapter you cannot leave any chapter in the evolution of theory you can say almost every year they are asking the question in the design they are asking very rare questions only 20 marks in the last uh, uh, you know 9 years right in other chapters they are asking the you know good questions 10 30 10 10, 10. so my observation is that you have to prepare every chapter and yes some chapter have to be prepared more sincerely you have to prioritize those chapters the five star chapters right now we will do the chapter wise trend analysis along with the most repeated themes and we will see some patterns we will make some observation from there okay so the first chapter nature and the concept of organization so here they are asking the basic questions like organizational features organizational significance effects of various type of environment on the organization okay 2021 they asked a question the environment is a major contingency for which an organization must plan and to which it must adapt okay so basically the relation between the environment and the organization now these are the application based questions this is the question where we can show our real innovation we can show our practical knowledge we can link the gs part also because impact of organization okay so first of all we have to make it clear what is the meaning of environment here so environment we have to make it clear environment can be internal or task environment and general environment and then we will talk primarily about task environment and the general environment so we will look into every type of environment and we will discuss in the practical manner okay for example if we talk about uh starting from the general environment technological dimension how the technology technological dimension is impacting the environment okay you you take up any company now we are talking about industrial revolution 4.0 where application of artificial intelligence machine learning internet of things and so many things are there which is resulting into more cost of the technology and competition from the big companies and at the same time offering an opportunity to increase the efficiency so we have to adapt to the environment we have to take the technology into consideration and take the make the organizational structure design culture and everything accordingly okay so you will link the environment of technology the practical environment with how you have to change the structure design everything then economic dimension very very important here you can give the example like before 9, 1991 we were having the closed economy and uh, most of the organization uh, most of the economy was under the psus right and after 
वी आर फ्री लिबरल ग्लोबलाइज राइट एंड देर इज ए रोल ऑफ मोर रोल ऑफ द प्राइवेट सेक्टर राइट सो दिस इज अगेन रिजल्टिंग इन टू इम्पैक्ट अपॉन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बिकॉज नाउ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कैन थिंक अबाउट एक्सपेंडिंग दियर ऑपरेशन आउटसाइड इंडिया ऑल्सो अकॉर्डिंगली दे हैव टू चेंज दियर कल्चर दे हैव टू चेंज दियर स्ट्रक्चर दे हैव टू अडेप्ट टू द टेक्नोलॉजी विच इज अवेलेबल इन द ग्लोबलाइज वर्ल्ड राइट नेक्स्ट सोशो कल्चरल डायमेंशन सोशो कल्चरल ओके एग्जाम्पल नाउ वी कैन सी मोर रोल ऑफ द फीमेल्स इन एवरी इंडस्ट्री बीट मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इंडस्ट्री बीट सर्विस इंडस्ट्री राइट इन सर्विस ऑल्सो बैंकिंग एजुकेशन हेल्थ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन कम्युनिकेशन and the female they have their own limitations they have some positive thing as well they bring something some uh, positivity also and they also have some limitation so are we changing our organization accordingly are we planning the organization resources accordingly then comes political and legal dimension political dimension for example center states relations how they are impacting so center state relations they are reflected in the form of federalism so if the federalism is confrontationalist then it will actually result into damaging the environment Com the business cannot grow but in the recent time we can see competitive federalism and cooperative federalism which is resulting into number 1 the organization like gst network or gst council providing the better environment for the organization so on the one hand it is challenging to the organization because they have to adapt to the new gst uh, network on the other hand it is better also because it is providing one nation one market one tax concept you have to link with the practical things political how the, it is impacting right so because of cooperative federalism it is benefit benefiting the organization accordingly we have to change the structure design <laughs> culture and we have to redesign everything okay similarly because of the competitive federalism we are now inviting the investors the, now the state government they are providing the conducive environment in the form of better power infrastructure better roads they are inviting the investors into the investor summit they are encouraging the business in their own state so the states are fighting to get more and more share of the business into their own state resulting into positivity in the organization right are you getting everyone next legal environment how the legal environment is impacting legal environment is impacting for example this recent uh, uh, supreme court judgment regarding the super tech twin tower noida i am i hope you are aware about it the two towers they were demolished because of the rule of the law so rule of the law cannot be bounded by the organization so organization has to plan accordingly now other organizations they will be careful other organizations they will be considering the legal environment that yes if we go beyond the rules and regulation then we can face the problem in the future are you getting similarly international dimension for example covid for example ukrainian conflicts resulting into burden on the oil companies high prices this international environment is resulting into you know adverse impact on the supply chain so we will link this with the organization right accordingly we have to change the organization this is the general environment after this comes regulators how the regulators are impacting 
so now we can see more and more regulators for example in the real estate real estate regulatory authority so now real estate companies they have to plan the organization accordingly structure and everything strategic partners now the companies are collaborating with each other they are merging with each other right and there is a strategic partnership even the competitors they are collaborating in certain areas so we have to think about the partners interest suppliers customers now customers are becoming more aware about their rights customers are more innovative they are more young customers so we have to change the culture accordingly we have to be more innovative more open we have to be more energetic more uh, adaptable more acceptable to the young generation right and then comes internal environment internal environment like owners now the owners which include not only the domestic owners but also the foreign owners because fdi is coming into india so now foreign owners can also be there so they have their own values maybe innovation maybe more process oriented maybe more efficiency oriented okay more transparent more accountable so organization has to bring the culture accordingly similarly board of directors employees culture overall culture of the area so if the organization is working in the south india or northeast india or north india or east india the culture might impact the local food and dressing the local language the local festivals it might impact the organization you have to link and you have to give a lot of examples this is how we have to write the application based questions see i just want to tell you one thing if you have to get high marks if you see the paper 2 and just we consider section a so in section a there are total four questions question 1 2 3 4 right in question 1 we have short questions a b c d e in these questions these are most of knowledge based questions like you have to write there is not much scope of application there is not mu not much scope of innovation okay out of these five questions sometime you might get one or two question which are difficult or you don't know so for these type of question you should not run behind these questions because these type of question will always be there ye question hamesha aapko milenge you have you don't have to run behind you know solving every question rather you save the time from here the time that you would have spent on solving these questions you save that time and use that time to write better answer in the application based questions okay so now suppose we have question number 2 3 4 okay okay and out of uh, these two, three, suppose we choose question number two and three, okay, because we can choose only three question maximum from one section right so suppose there are 20 marker 20 marker 10 marker similarly 20 marker 20 marker 10 marker right that means we have total four questions of the big long nature now these long questions suppose this is basic question and this is application based question this is application based question this is basic question you have to show your knowledge you have to be innovative write very very good answer in the application based questions if you can impress the examiner with the help of these application based questions you will be getting good marks in the other subject also because here you have some scope of innovation and you just have to go a bit extra and i will tell you how to do that one example i already gave you that how to incorporate the you know practical dimension into your answers you have to link with the gs part because gs is actually the real world don't compartmentalize in artificial manner because ultimately you are writing the upsc answer so you can incorporate the real world from the gs you should not run behind you know very very corporate specific example because corporate specific example have to be there but should not be overrided by them okay the next chapter is organizational goals primary and secondary goals single and multiple goals right now here they are asking the questions like multiple goals primary goals mbo this is very very favorite topic mbo okay 
and if you see last 30 years they are asking this question again and again okay so basically in these type of questions in mbo type of questions in fact wherever there is this uh, you know similar concept you should prepare in the 360 degree manner what is the meaning of 360 degree manner suppose we talk about mbo management by objective you should know the meaning what is the meaning of this the thing the person who is a thinker behind this assumptions okay what are the assertions or what is the explanation of the theory then what are the limitations what are the suggestions and how to implement it and what are the challenges in implementation and then you have to give some real life case study this much of preparation you have to do because if we see the your previous question pattern sometime they will ask about the meaning and the process this implementation process some other year they will ask about say uh, for example they will ask about limitations in some other year they will ask about suggestions so if you prepare any topic in a comprehensive manner then you don't have to worry which type of question they whichever question they are asking you can answer that question so on every dimension minimum 3 point and maximum 5 point you should remember okay so on every dimension 3 to 5 points and just try to remember 3 point in the first phase see whether you are studying gs or optional in the first phase if you are trying to cover everything it is not practically possible rather you just try to remember three point on every dimension in the first reading or first revision that should be your first target after you are thorough with the three point every topic every concept then you go for the five five point in every concept every topic it is a gradual process right so first you have to focus on two sorry uh, three point in every sub, uh, every topic in every dimension are you with me everyone so don't run behind doing so much have the all dimensions covered up but focus on three point in the first go uh then if you see the repetition of the questions repetitive nature 1984 and 2019 how much is the gap 1984 to 2019 16 plus 19 35 years 35 year ago they asked a question relationship between the personal goal and organizational goal how are these personal goals reconciled to multiplicity of the organization goals so as to avoid the resulting conflict right and 2019 they are asking need of integrating individual and organization goal for the effective performance explain so basically the language is different answer will be also a bit different but the theme is repeated i am focusing upon repetition of the theme even after 35 years they are repeating the theme so they are asking the same question after 35 years also and many a times they are asking the same question immediately in the next year also so you should write the answer to the previous question every previous question which is there in the last you know since 1979 almost last uh, 40 years sare question ko answer likh lijiye uska theek hai next is evolution of organization theory from here they are asking about theory classical neo classical social systems systems approach virtual organization and they are asking about again same meaning assumptions assertions 
limitations, improvement, all of that, okay? So you have to cover every possible dimension. Now, I was telling you that they will repeat the question next year also. So you can see 2016 and 2017. In 2016, they asked a long question. The criticism of non-classical organization theory arranges from the human relations as a tool of cynical puppeteering of the people. To human relations, no more than a trifling body of empirical descriptive information. Throw light on this statement, okay? In 2017, they asked a short question, 10 marker, cynical puppeteering of the people. So they are repeating the theme in immediate next year. The, uh, uh, can you see? 35 year old question they are repeating and one year old question they are repeating. So if you can focus on repeated theme also in a very, very good manner, it will help you a lot. I can see, I can show you multiple examples. Next is organizational design. So here they're asking about organizational design, centralization, decentralization, formal, informal, and other aspect. Now, see the question. This is the application-based questions of 1980. In 1980 also, they were asking, they were asking application-based questions. It is not that the application-based questions they're asking very recently. They're asking since inception. But don't worry about this. If you remember the concept and can really understand it in a very good manner, it will help you. Okay. Next is designing of organizational structure, authority and control, line and staff, specialization and coordination. So here they are asking about delegation, span of supervision, and organizational control. Types of organizational structure, functional matrix project structure, line, line and staff, functional project organization, matrix structure. So now you see the question, how they are repeating after 30 years. In 1990, they ask a question, the concept of line and staff is one of the major areas which requires the serious attention in the modern organization, critical evaluate. And 2020, they ask the question, line and staff, conflicts and their resolution. So the theme they are repeating, that is what I'm saying, the questions will repeat and repeat after 35 years, after one year, after 35 years, okay? Power. In the power, they're asking, again, very predictable questions, power authority, basis of power, sources, organizational politics, and all. Then finally, culture chapter. In the culture, they're asking about organizational culture, process of creating organizational culture. So you can see the questions, how they are uh, asking the question, 2015 question and 2020 question. In 2020, they asked the question, please read the question carefully once. Please read these two questions carefully once. So, in the question number 2020, creation of organizational culture is a long-term process. In the light of this statement, discuss the process, right? So the question is about process. In 15, they're asking about, it's a long-term phenomena that decides the success, of, success or the failure of the mission and the vision of the organization and ultimately its survival in the current global scenario. Explain this statement and also identify the cultural problems. So here, seemingly, seemingly it might look like very same question, but the question is altogether different actually. Because in the first question, they're asking about explanation of this statement, how it is impacting the survival and the success and the cultural problems. In the 2020, they're asking about the process itself. So you have to go and read the question carefully 
and i will come to this part how to read the question you have to read the question carefully because the question will change when you read the question carefully okay now let us see the questions from three perspective first is the level of difficulty second is the question is new or repeated and third is the question basic or the application oriented okay so from these three perspective let us see the questions of last two years 2020 questions and it includes both ot and ob we are discussing the section a okay so you can see repeated 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 so many repeated themes the level of difficulty is moderate and the nature of question is basic rather than the application based so these are very predictable questions actually as i as i told you that in commerce and accountancy you will get very very predictable paper so revision is the key practice is the key make the short notes and to be more competitive add the value right 2021 if you see there is a change now you can see new 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 themes right difficult things also and application based questions also no surprise the number of marks are comparatively lesser in the 2021 so application based questions you have to practice more once you are thorough with the basic right in the short notes they are asking very simple questions also common or simple questions direct questions so in this type of question you have to give the comprehensive answer have to focus on the keywords maybe make a short diagram to make your content more presentable because even if you can increase one mark in every short question there are total 10 short question in one paper so 10 extra marks you can get and the importance of 10 extra marks is very very high in the upsc mains so in simple questions you have to be more comprehensive write every dimension even if you write just two point or three point every dimension it is helpful right and there are difficult questions also example cynical puppeteering of the pe people now if you have gone through the pvc question then you might remember in which context this word was used but sometime you will not remember in which context this word was used right ritualism empowered organization vuka world these are seemingly difficult questions so now in these questions if you know the answer then write okay or try to guess for example in empowered organization we can guess but suppose this is vuka world and you have not heard this before what is the meaning of vuka right because when this question came in 2013 at that time it was no, not a widely available now you will see in the coaching notes and everywhere but 2013 mein when this question came it was not available so maybe this type of question you can leave and save the time and apply this time in the application based questions long questions you score better in those questions right in the long question also you can see simple questions common questions what are the main features of neo classical organization theory so they are asking the feature and the implications and there can be difficult question also very difficult question like 2005 this question came read this question once
so in this question they are asking about war organization and a business organization war organization it is very different right like army so you have to compare then you have to explain the in terms of the terminology of the organization theory book list so bp singh and chabra this is very famous book you can buy this but see problem is that not a single book is sufficient and second is sp robins and sp robins also has multiple books okay these two books you can i mean you can even follow one book right plus you can supplement with the other things as well lot of content is available here and there but then you have to make the short notes you have to add the value okay now answer writing tips are you with me everyone are you with me yes no so what is your learning so far what is your one learning so far can you please share what is your one learning so far everyone how to decode previous questions very good shruti others please answer can use gs example in the optional 2 yes actually and viva you were asking one more question where to get pyq from 1979 i think there is some book you can get on the amazon you can check it from there and we are also preparing a compilation based upon level of difficulty basic or repeated Uh, you know uh, level of difficulty new or repeated and also based upon the application based or basic question okay that compilation we are making it will take some time okay so that we are doing okay varsha uh, very good be innovative in application based questions add value to the content and link in the gs world very good chandresh do not skip any topic of syllabus yes anugrah how to prioritize questions while answering yes very good okay so should we continue with the answer writing because it will take some time maybe 30 minute are you ready everyone maximum 30 minute it can even take less time also are you ready everyone see if you talk about answer writing answer writing first of all we have to understand the question we have to find the type of question what type of question is there right second we have to brainstorm the answer in the brainstorming we will think about body intro conclusion and value addition also presentation also third is actually writing the answer right actual writing of the answer so in the actual writing presentation tips will be handy okay so we will see these three things first of all decoding the question understanding the question actually how to decode the question so we can divide the question into five categories the first category is direct questions definition based questions in this they will ask questions like define okay define formal and informal organization okay or they will ask you to discuss 
some theory explain the process so these are direct questions here you have to just write whatever they are asking right the second category of questions is context based questions contextual statement based questions the contextual statement based questions here you will find two statement first statement is a context statement and second statement will be the question statement this is a question statement okay so the context statement is rules are different from norms and the question statement is in the light of this statement explain the importance of rules and norms from the organizational design perspective so here you have to innovatively use you have to innovatively use the context statement this context statement you should actually elaborate in the introduction this should be converted into introduction next is third category that is a differentiation based questions in the differentiation based questions they will clearly ask the differences they will ask you to distinguish between them okay so you can make a table okay power authority make a table and write it very clearly right next is critically examine based questions in fact sorry reasons and implication based questions so reasons and implication based questions may either they will ask the reason like what other factors are responsible for cultural change in the organization or they will ask about the implications so they are asking the cause effect relations the causes or the implications the effect right and the last they will ask about the critically examining types of question where they will be asking your opinion like here they are asking do you agree line and staff functions in a modern organization are irrelevant do you agree asking the opinion asking you to comment asking you to evaluate or critically evaluate right so they will do this right so these are the five category of questions are you clear everyone any question like you see the question and divide the questions into any of any one of these question category right yes or no very good <coughs> after this as i told you you have to find the context statement and question statement you have to find the underlying theme okay see theme you have to find but apart from theme you have to focus on the keyword for example in that question of long term phenomena you have to focus on the questions actually they are asking the theme can be the process of organization culture is a long term phenomena but the question they are asking in one question they are asking about the process itself what is the process and in the second question they are asking about the impact on the survival and efficiency and all of that right so you have to focus on the question words theme you have to identify but actually you have to answer the question not the theme and then you have to take care of the directive words okay i will discuss the directive word also now how to enrich the content how to enrich the content in the theory part of the paper number 2 this is applicable in all the four component okay so first of all you have to use the think definition as per the thinker even if you are writing very simple definition of say uh, line and staff line function 
try to give the definition of by one thinker because thinker adds the credibility even if you writing very simple answer but if you write the name of the thinker it will help you i'm telling you okay so for example leadership this is a ob chapter actually in the ob there is a chapter of leadership chester bernard give the definition of leadership like this okay then louis a alain he gave the definition of leadership like this and uh, theo hyman he gave the definition of leadership like this okay now this definition you might not remember exactly but you can remember the keywords so if you can't remember the definition exactly try to remember the keywords right next is thinkers like i told you this kind of notes you should prepare where you are writing what exactly is the name of the author because you might ask in the exam whole so before the exam you have to prepare these kind of notes these notes i prepared for myself when i was a student name of the person and the concept which they have given the definition on you can see on every concept you should know which person has given this definition otherwise when you write the actual answer you sometime forget about it this is how you get the more marks you get 300 plus marks similarly you can see here also motivation leadership all of that right lot of thinkers i have given not only paper 2 but in paper 1 also thinkers definition of the ratio analysis second is diagrams practice as many diagrams as possible by your hand made make it by your hand okay see even if it is very simple diagram but it will add to the presentation it will make your answer attractive and you will have to use less number of word it will save your time it will save your space and it will give the clarity of the thought to the examiner the more clear you are about the concept the better the diagram you can make so practice making the handmade diagram like this yourself like we can define the organization culture we can define the organization culture like this this is diagrammatic definition i call it diagrammatic definition try practice make this by your help by your hand only diagrammatic presentation right then there are process diagrams or you know this theory big five traits theory in the ob what is a trait how it is relevant and what is the impact this will help you remembering also see one thing i want to tell you the better the quality of your notes the better the quality of your diagrams the more the uh, possibility that you will remember in the exam hall and you will exactly write in the exam hall okay so you can use a table formulate and you can give it like kurt levin model of the plan change this question came in 2011 you can make this kind of simple diagrams right quotations quotation can be very simple can be from the you know even uh, you know general life like for example on leadership it has been given by napoleon bonaparte given by benjamin disraeli okay so use the quotation maybe in the introduction or somewhere else this is the another value addition that you can do right similarly change management regarding change management we can use the quotation of jack welch right then whenever you are reading something please write the year for which this question this in which this question came like styles of leadership this question is repeating since 1981 till so many times so again this question might come any time at least seven times this question has repeated this will help you more vigilant these are five star questions i say five star topics right give example from the real world like in the autocratic leadership we can give the example of female prime minister margaret thatcher how she was autocratic or even more example like 
change forces and they are their examples. Every minor example we can give. Like nature of the workforce, diversity, aging, immigration, outsourcing, technology, computers, social networking sites, human genetic coding, economic shocks, global housing, financial sector collapse, globalization, all of that, right? Case study, case study you can give. Case study means a successful scenario. So you can give the case study also. Write this case study in a short language. Right? Use the tables like this. Tables, transformational, transactional. Okay, they are asking the simple questions there. And use the current affairs also. I have told you the current affairs, how to use the current affairs, like you can in war you can use. Uh, twin tower example you can use, right? Then uh, you can use the railway, how they are changing the structure of the organization and uh, the how, how uh, this lockdown, hybrid working is impacting the organizational culture, okay? And there can be some purely current affair topic also which can be there, right? So I'll stop here. After this, I will take one more session. I will discuss the organizational behavior and uh, I, will also, I will also discuss about the detailed answer writing. I will discuss about introduction writing, how to do the introduction writing, how much should be the content, what should be the orientation, how many ideas should be there. So I will discuss the introduction part, what kind of idea we can use for the introduction. Then I will come to the body part, how to think about the body part. Then I will discuss the conclusion part, Presentation part also, very, very small things I will discuss, critical words, directory words, all of that, okay? So for that, we will take one more session where we will cover the organizational behavior on the one hand, and on the other hand, we will discuss the answer writing process also, okay? This is the discussion of today's organization theory and the answer writing, okay? We are also having the mentorship program. Some of you are already part of that program. And those of you who are not part of the program, let me share with you. In the mentorship program, we are providing you a complete package, right? So let me show you the feature of the mentorship program. Because many people, they are approaching us. So in the mentorship program, this is mentorship come test this program. In this program, we will give you daily schedule, okay? This schedule will be given to you in the Excel sheet where you will get the day week, subject, and topic, everything, okay, with micro topic targets. Like every day you will be having the micro targets, okay. Then if you have some customized requirement, suppose you want to focus on the financial management or organization theory, or suppose you have some other weak area, we will give you accordingly the questions, right. We will try to cover repeated themes as much as possible because as we can see, in the commerce and accountancy, questions are repeated so many times. We will also have the weekly mentorship calls and sessions. Here we will discuss the answers through the questions. Okay? Okay, so we will discuss the answers, how to write the answer. We will solve your personal query. So there will be one personal, uh, one. Uh, uh, session every week, okay. Personal query will be solved, okay. And uh, you will also get personal tracking sheet where you can track yourself how many times you are revising. We will try, like, maximum you can complete one paper in three months. Maximum that means even you can spend less time if you are fast, if you have covered the things already, then you can cover a subject in one month also. We will give you some extra questions on a daily basis. If you want, we can give you four question daily also, not a problem, okay?
so the questions are on upsc pattern only and you can write the answer as per your timing this uh, this is available both online and offline right so basically there are three component first we will discuss the subject wise strategy at a micro level then you will get the topic wise test these topic wise tests are given on daily basis right two questions you will get for defined period okay and then you will get the uh, copy evaluation from our side very detailed evaluation and the comment you will get in the me weekly meetings okay this test will be daily and sectional also subject wise also and then full length test also so it's a comprehensive package okay so we are starting the new program either you can join now and you can start back from the monday or you can join today and start from the coming monday so if you join today we will give you the target start covering those target in the next 2 3 days and start writing the answer from monday okay and the program duration is 9 month that means 6 month of daily answer writing 2 month of subject wise test and 1 month of full mock test right this subject wise test will be 1 2 1 and 1/2 hours okay daily answers will give two questions okay with 50% questions will be giving the modal answers in fact we will try 100% but 50% we are promising as of now because in the direct questions there is no need of modal answer but in the twisted question application based questions we will try to give the modal answers and uh, you will also get the full length full length mock test four full length mock test will get in the phase 4 validity of the program is means 23 if you are appearing for 24 you can also join accordingly we will extend your validity and uh, we have very good study material also coming up in the study material we will integrate everything that is additional thing okay so in the enriched study material this is separate package in the enriched study material we will integrate previous year question marking we will mark every topic with the previous year question give the powerful quotations examples corporate case studies micro diagrams thinkers definitions and this will be available in the printed hard copy there will be total 10 booklets and here we will also cover the answers to the important previous year questions right if you have requirement of full classroom we have the full classroom program also in the full classroom program you can at attend it offline in delhi and online also total program duration is 6 month five classes every week paper 2 and paper 1 both are covered there is one weekly test and you will get the material also 10 booklets 100% syllabus is covered you will also get three phase mentorship and test is included right the fees of the classroom program is 60000 both paper 1 and paper 2 if you want to join separately like paper 1 and paper 2 then you can join that as well then in that case you have to give 32000 and you can join one paper also right these are our programs many people like they are liking the programs and uh, we can show the sample of the questions answers that we are providing in fact you can check on the telegram channel we have shared and uh, from my experience of so many years teaching also and as a student also scoring good marks i will guide you properly i am promising that i will give you the confidence that you can get the 300 plus marks okay so with these words if you have any questions please let me know you can contact our team you can contact our team for admissions and all on this number you can reach out on the telegram okay or call 9815995637 okay so this is all thank you everyone if you have any questions please let me know we will take one more session where we will discuss about the organizational behavior and the more answer writing part okay varsha uh, ans uh, this answer writing program mentorship program the cost of the mentorship program is we have two options if you join the full program yeah if you join the full program then it is 20000 right the full program is 20000 phase 1 phase 2 phase 
or if you join only phase one and two, this is fifteen thousand, and if you join only phase one, then it is twelve thousand. So we give three choices, right? You can get it. Thank you, everyone. Any question? Please let me know.